Eric, we're here in Hamakua visiting David Reel's uh, Koa Farm and Vive chip making production facility. David was a participant in the High Plan competition and the recent demo day and has a very interesting project going on here. Right behind us we see some koa, but we're going to interview David and hear all about his uh, fantastic project here. So David, first of all, uh, tell us a little bit about what you're trying to do on this property of yours. Sure. So a lot of the property here in Hamakua that has uh, old growth, kind of or in, invasive, uh, strong stands of strawberry guava like this, over the past hundred years or so, it's wiped out the koa forests. And the koa here are nitrogen fixers. Uh, these strawberry guava are very nitrogen hungry. And everywhere that there's a koa stand, the strawberry guava, the vivi grows like crazy and it gets so thick that it completely chokes out the koa tree. So essentially what we're doing is getting rid of the vivi, making a product out of it, and then replanting koa forest. We, we, we do some planting, some of it is natural growth, and uh, we're trying to bring this forest back to a native Hawaiian forest, bring the, the, native, the Hawaiian uh, undergrowth back, uh, the native birds, and uh, turn what used to be a, essentially a ruined forest into the way it's supposed to be. So what actually has happened in this level property now? Sure, so about a year and a half ago, we decided to open this area up because we, we noticed how dense the guava was here. So we knew without a doubt this used to be koa. Uh, you learned that, we learned that the uh, first year or two we were here. Um, what we did was just brought a uh, D6, took out the strawberry guava and these koa pop up. Then when that's happening, we'll find we'll find the smallest ones and we'll replant in areas that have been cleared and aren't getting enough growth. Mm -hmm. So here they're a little too close together. Mm -hmm. Um, but that's okay for now. Uh, once we get a canopy in 15 years or so, then all the understory plants will grow. Mm -hmm. And we, we're already seeing a lot of the uh, endemic birds come back, wow. which is really neat. Yeah, yeah. that's um, so cool. We have, I think it's, it's 45 some endemic birds that are on a, uh, you know, they're semi-endangered or threatened in Hawaii. So, and they like the koa a lot more than they like these. Right. And maybe you can tell us a little bit about first step is cutting that out what do you, sure. what's involved sure first step we use a combination of bulldozers excavators and chainsaws and just you know like good old hand work mm -hmm. and uh, in order to get clean branches out for our product we can't really use machines so we'll cut our way in do the initial clearing with uh, machines and then do a lot of it by hand mm -hmm. Wow so there's a lot of hand work involved oh, yeah. in uh, clearing yeah. this land Tremendous, right. huh? And it gets it, it gets to be prohibitively expensive, you know, trying to do it uh, either with with grants. I think is not exactly sustainable. Um, there are a lot of good uh, philanthropic organizations out there that support this kind of thing, but we wanted to make a product that uh, was profitable, so the product itself will uh, support this work. So that's the that's the brilliance of this business model. You've come up with a a method of extracting a commercially viable product from the weeds and in the process of doing all that you're growing this legacy forest and returning the land to uh, its more natural state that's the whole idea and it's that's a be just a beautiful concept i love it you can do it a few acres at a time uh, it'll be uh, a very big wood chip manufacturer and distributor uh, if we ever run out uh, if we do run out that's fine I'm okay with it. Hallelujah if, to if, that. If we yeah. take out all the strawberry guava on Big Island and replant it all in native forest, I'll be a happy man. I'll, I'll be happy to uh, roll up the uh, wood chip business at that point. Yeah. So I went to Ace Hardware Store to purchase the wood chips because I know our local Ace supports many local businesses like Boa Koa. Didn't have time to soak the chips, but it was okay. I took three fourth cups of chips and wrapped it in a double aluminum foil made holes in the foil and placed it in the hot grill outside of KTA. Kulana Foods were cooking local teriyaki beef on the grill. I thought the YV smoke flavor wouldn't have any effect on the teriyaki, but I was surprised. Ah! Ah! The flavor is so oil. Oh, oh, and it's tender. Oh. And it's juicy. Mm. I think the Spanish word is delicioso. <laughs> awesome. Mm.
I was impressed and wanted to meet the owners David and Jan Rio. We traveled two miles of rocky road above Ninali. We approached a beautiful home built by David Rio with YV sticks as part of the decor. David informed me that YV fruits only on the young trees and when it gets old, it just becomes an invasive species that invades our native forests. Man, I am so excited. I got Dave and Jan Rio and man, this is such a beautiful place. Um, you know, I was very glad that Jim brought me up here and you know, I understand you making this um, strawberry guava chips or they call it YV here in Hawaii. I mean, tell me, why YV chips? Well, we saw that this forest was being killed by YV and that was bothering me for many years and we were trying to come up with a solution to it. So we wanted to create a product that was made from YV, but we couldn't think of what to do. When the idea of wood chips came up and I started researching the market, I realized people are gonna love these and they're not available in the mainland. They're, they've been used here for a long time, but in the mainland, nobody knows what it is and it's a wonderful flavor. It's great for smoking food. And uh, the best part about it is it helps save the Hamakua uh, Koa forest. What are you guys? You guys are entrepreneurs, you know, you guys have an amazing kind of um, way of thinking of things, you know. Same thing actually what you guys are doing, trying to grab waste and turn it into value. And you know, I really love you guys for that. And more so, keeping our aina, our forest beautiful. Thank you, Darren. And I see all these koa trees growing and I see my ohea trees all coming back to life. Yeah. And man, and, and YV is a, it's a really invasive species, right? Yes, sir. So I, why why would I use a, a strawberry guava chip? Why would I use a YV chip? Well, we kiln dry these, and uh, which when they're when the wood isn't green, it has a much better flavor than oh. some people who have used wet oh, or, right? or, or green logs or chips. Yes. So it has a flavor that's kind of like a mix of hickory and apple, but it's different for anybody who's ever tried it. Oh. And it creates a, an awesome flavor on fish, uh, meat, pork. Uh, turkey. I, I love using it on chicken, on veggies. It goes with everything, and yeah, it has ribeyes. You made me the oh. best ribeyes in my <laughs> yeah, life. Ribeyes. Is that right? yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's why you fell for him because of yeah. the white meat chips. <laughs> the ribeyes. Awesome. Yeah, the ribeye. <laughs> Not that. Chip. But you know, I'm gonna tell you this because you know, like for me, I, I love cooking, right? Okay. And if I use this and then I'll, I'll barbecue with it, I, maybe my wife might might love me just as much as Jen loves it's you. It's possible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. So, so, Dave. Yes. Why do you put the clip in the bag? I mean, I mean, why the clip? So you don't get rubbish and chips all over underneath your barbecue grill and around your smoker. Wow. You know what? I know that's Jan's idea. <laughs> I wish I could take credit. Yeah. Well, for keeping the place clean. You don't want it all messy, right? I'm not saying yeah. anything. Yeah. <laughs> I think you find this at Ace Hardware stores. Uh, in the in, on Hawaii Island, right and now just Waimea and Kona. Yeah, but also Ace Hardware on uh, Maui. But I think they're gonna bring it into all the stores. I already okay. talked to the buyer. They wonderful. say they're kind of sold on these chips. It oh, tastes wonderful. so good. I mean, they use it and they really love it. And I think they go, they'll carry it on, on, on all in the East Hawaii and everything else. So. And a big portion of it goes right into getting rid of invasive species and planting koa trees. So it's just so. more than just the chips, yes, right? Sir. You know, it's 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 keeping our forest natural, yep. right? And, yep. and YV is not a natural, it's an invasive no. species. No. Terribly invasive. Yeah. And I was very impressed, you know, you know, looking at the forest and seeing the koa trees coming back to life. I mean, like all these babies are coming back. It's, and, so you know, it's a good feeling. <laughs> so, so Dave, um, actually one, one really last question. I mean, what made you come and buy a property like this? And you know, it was full of YV and you couldn't see anything. I mean, I mean, what, what made you do such a thing? I mean, I, I'm, I'm kind of like amazed. I grew up in a really remote uh, place off grid and I've always liked living like that. And I guess I'm a little bit of an adventurer and it seemed like a big challenge and an adventure. And uh, just, we just decided to dive in. We had, we were fortunate enough to be able to do it. And uh, so we just did. It seemed like the right thing to do. And Dave had the vision, you know, he could look at, he could look at this overgrown forest and say, oh wait, I see what this can be. I Amazing. see what I can do with this. Wow. You know what, Dave and Jan, it is an adventure. <laughs> it is a challenge. And I thank you guys so, so very much. You know, um, and this is what Hawaii is all about. 
right? But you know, try to make the place a better place, a more beautiful place. Tell me what, what, why, why Hawaii? Well, uh, I've lived all over the world and all over the, the mainland United States, and I've never been to any place that felt so wonderful as uh, Big Island and Hawaii. And uh, we wanted to do something that gave back to the land here and back to the people, back to the environment. And um, this was a way to do it. Uh, it's a way to make a living and also improve things and um, just to make a positive difference. But another way you want is to give back to the economy of Big Island and start a whole new industry on Big Island with a product made out of an invasive tree. And there are always people needing jobs um, on Big Island and tourism, as COVID has shown us, is not necessarily something we should try to rely on for the economy here. And um, what if what if this little wood chip business becomes Hawaii Island's uh, big industry someday? I just wanted to be a farmer <laughs> or, a, or a forester, and uh, this was one way to do it. So um, I grew up in the middle of nowhere, and I like living in a remote rural place. So uh, here we can make a living doing something good. Well, I just want to say thank you so very much. I mean, you guys are really making a difference. Um, and, you know, a great example for all of the new young people out there, you know, a great role model. So thank you so very much for coming to Hawaii. It's a pleasure. It's a thank wonderful place. Us. We just want to give back a little. You know how to make the shaka. Yes, sir. Uh, you see, they got it right there. <laughs> awesome. Hey, again, hey, buy chips, strawberry guava chips, one of its kind. Yeah, man, hey, you make a, you make a, a regular cook a great cook. Yeah, <laughs> and your, life will, your wife would love you, yeah. <laughs> Hey, Jen. That's hey. right. Awesome. I I'm not a shocker, but Jen. Come on, come on. Yes, sir. Awesome.